All right, so playing through some things, uh, I have decided that the Packers will not trade Rodgers. I'm about 51-49 on that. And I say that because they've had the opportunity to trade Rodgers, and I compared it to Goody is married to Rodgers. He's in love with Jordan Love, but it would be too hard. There's too many kids, divorce too messy. So Jordan Love's just going to have to be the one he thinks about during. Um Ryan Horvat is here, bet MGM tonight, who two days ago texted me, well, it's over. Rodgers is getting traded. Mm -hmm. There's definitely more substance to these quote-unquote reports than there was a year ago, but I still have a hard time, Horvy, seeing it actually happen just because I think it would have happened by now. No, it's going to happen. You guys have finally got your way. You have forced Aaron Rodgers out of town. We'll get the Jordan Love era. My whole life. My entire life has been Brett Favre and then Aaron Rodgers. So this is this is scary. What I'm going to end up doing here is obviously rooting for Jordan Love, rooting for the Green Bay Packers, per usual, Packers over everything. But I'm also, especially because the report is from Adam Schefter, who it is what it is. See, when I started to, when I texted you this, Schefter had that report, and I was like, whatever, that's Schefter. He's bored. Yeah. You know, because there's not really a whole lot going on, even though the NFL playoffs are happening. That's not enough for him to talk about. He has to talk about other nonsense. And so I was thinking, whatever, it's typical offseason crap. But then I was watching NFL Network, and Ian Rappaport had it as well. And uh, I take everything he says pretty seriously. I think he does a pretty good job. And then, I, you know, uh, you read the report today, though, that they wouldn't trade him to an NFC team. They would only look exclusively to AFC teams. Again, that's from Schefter. I don't know. I think you take the best offer, right? Like, I, I get not wanting to trade Aaron Rodgers to an NFC team, but unless you think Jordan Love's ready to win right now, this roster is ready to win right now, which if you think they're just a quarterback away, I think you're kind of crazy. That defense was awful this year, uh, and they're running it back with Joe Barry. So if the Bears call you, which they're not going to because they have Justin Fields, but let's say the Bears call you. They have the first overall pick, man, and they're like, hey, we'll give you two first-round picks for Aaron Rodgers. Or let's say Minnesota. They call you, and you're getting a better deal than an than an AFC team. I think you have to take the better deal, right? I mean, because well, I don't Rob know. One one thing that I want to stop you for a second. Yeah, sorry. Well, no, I'm sorry. I'm the one that cut you off. They so there's a lot of like trade targets, and okay, best deal, whatever. They play the entire NFC South next year. All those teams need a quarterback. They also play the Raiders. So Rodgers going to the Raiders is a dot connector. I'm not, they're not, so they're going to trade him to an AFC team. If they trade him, they're not trading him to a team. They're going to play. He's not going to the Raiders. Brady, that's more Brady towards the end of his career. That's where guys go to die. If Rodgers is Rodgers, I think would retire. I, I mean, I know Devante's there, but dude, that offensive line, that defense, I think you would either rather come back to green Bay where everything's familiar and the floor is here or he would rather go to a contender. But here's what I'm saying, all right? So you're not trading them. The Lions, none of these teams are calling for Aaron Rodgers right now. But you know who would, possibly? The problem is for them is their owner is a criminal, and, and they're in the middle of selling the team. But the commanders, you know, I mean, the commanders have draft picks. They have draft capital. They have a really good defense, top 10 defense when healthy, when Chase Young's fully back next year. And they have weapons. It'd be Rodgers throwing to Terry McLaurin. Uh, you know, all those guys, Logan Thomas would probably have a bounce back here with Aaron Rodgers. They have multiple backs, Brian Robinson's there. So I think that would be a good fit. I mean, then, but if you're Rodgers, you probably want to go play somewhere warm. Like, does he even want to go play in New York? Does he want to play for the Jets? Because I don't he think he wants to go back. play anywhere. I don't think Rodgers wants to get traded. No, he doesn't. He wants to stay in Green Bay. That's you why guys, this contract is so like, you guys have all forced them out of here though. You don't want him anymore. Well, cause he's not winning. Yeah, but like I kind of want to run it back one more year personally. I get I get if it comes down to him or Jordan Love and like Jordan Love's your guy. I'm not here to, you know, I'm not this isn't the Aaron Rodgers fan club. I I'm I, I'm hoping for the best for Aaron Rodgers and for the Packers. So, so I said with Favre, I'd rather have 10 years of Rodgers than 2 years of Favre. So I'd rather have 10 years of Love. Like they see Jordan Love every day, man. I don't. I see Jordan Love at Utah State and that last year was 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 really 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 bad. 
he came in against the Eagles. He made the throws, and I was like, okay. Like, he ran the offense. He looks comfortable. He doesn't look like he's about to shit down his leg like he did against Kansas City at times, which is understandable. His first starts at Arrowhead. All eyes are on him, and it's, hey, last minute, you're in here against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs because Rodgers has COVID. Uh, I don't know. I, I just think that you take the best deal. I, I think Rodgers – you the defense stinks, but imagine Rodgers going to Miami and Tua had that weird tweet the other day that it makes it sound like he's done there. They have draft picks, obviously. Uh, I don't know if they can make well, it. He's work. Uh, facing the fifth year option. And if I'm the Dolphins, I don't pay him that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't. We've like broke. Up. We broke. So, Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball to Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. The problem is their defense gives up over 400 yards, but. I don't know. Maybe they could sign a couple guys or something like that. It does look like Rodgers is going to get traded. If I was a betting man, which I am, I would bet on two teams. I would bet on the Jets, and I would bet on the Dolphins. Because who else is there? The Steelers? Kenny Pickett's really good. You're not You're not moving on from Kenny Pickett right now. Like, who else needs a quarterback? Like, because the, the crappy teams, the Texans are, you know, they're not trading for Aaron Rodgers. I don't think the Titans are because the Titans are going through a bunch of change. And – Who's he throwing the ball to there? He has better weapons in Green Bay. Uh, the, I mean, the Jets are probably the best fit. Let's be honest. So what do you want from the Jets? Let's say this happens because – First round picks. Well, part of Twitter thinks that Rodgers will not command a first round pick. And I think that's – Two first round picks for Aaron Rodgers. Or they're, or they're not moving. They're not on. trading Rodgers for less than they got for Devontae. No, dude. I mean – I don't care how old or where he is on the contract. Look what Russ look what Russell Wilson got got Seattle. I mean, I'm not taking anything less. I'm I want more. Aaron Rodgers, contrary to what uh Twitter, you know, and Badger Nation and NC State Nation and Seahawks Nation and the 12s believe, Aaron Rodgers is a much freaking better quarterback than Russell Wilson. Like th- these games that everybody judges Aaron Rodgers. I saw you guys fighting with John Kuhn. I thought he made a great point though in 2014. Like Rodgers was was hurt. He should not have even been playing in that game. Even the Seahawks defense after the game, they were like, we thought that this guy was just dogging it and that he was going to come out there. He was going to be 100%. Like, he was messed up. We give him a lot of credit for playing in that game. And they should have won that game. They were underdogs in that game. though On the road, toughest place to play in the NFL. I don't think he's the reason for that loss. I'll give you guys, if you want to, this year, absolutely. He should have beat Jared Goff and the Lions. Last year, one touchdown drive for the money that he was making. He was the MVP of the league. He should have beat San Francisco. The year before, like the year Tampa Bay, I thought he was pretty damn good in that game. He didn't do enough the last three drives when he was gifted the football. So you could blame him for that one. But early on in his career, man, he took some shit teams to the playoffs. I, I don't know. I mean, I get why We're you guys going to trade Rodgers and Favre back to back to the Jets. I just, I, that's the thing. I don't want to pick trip. number 13, by the way. I'd rather run it back one more year. Christian Watson was really good the second half of the season when he was healthy. Same thing with Romeo Dobbs. You get one veteran wide receiver. He's probably not going to – like Brandon Cooks. Does He says he wants to win. You get a Brandon Cooks. You know what I mean? You get another speedster in the draft. You don't need to take – I don't want a wide receiver. I don't want Jackson Smith and the Jigba because Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson are damn good. So you get – now you go for your third-round, fourth-round receiver. They need help on the defensive side of the ball. You need pass rushers because Preston Smith, I thought he was all right for his age, um, but, like, he missed way too many tackles. Devondre Campbell step back. Look how important linebacker play is. We always talk about, oh, you know, the most overrated position is inside linebacker. I don't know about that, dude. Look at the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, you know, they have the best inside linebackers in the league in coverage, and that's the reason why they're playing football. Brock Purdy's playing football, and Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, uh, Justin Herbert, all these guys, Josh, Josh Allen, Allen, they're not playing football anymore. You know why? Because Daniel San Jones. Francisco, San Francisco is very well coached. They're tough as shit. The Packers are soft. Um, and they have linebackers that could cover. Fred Warner is awesome. And for some reason, hasn't he only been an all-pro one time? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. But that's what it comes down to. So, I, yeah. I, I'm almost rooting for Aaron Rodgers to get traded for just – everybody hates him. So, let's say he comes back. They don't make the playoffs. So, they lose in the wild card round or they lose in the divisional round. No matter what, they could lose that game 35-32. to Rodgers could throw for 300 yards for the first time in a bazillion years, and everybody would still shit on him. So I'd kind of rather see him go elsewhere where he's appreciated. Packers could move on to Jordan Love. I'll be rooting for Jordan Love. And if Jordan Love's no good, 
whatever. You draft the quarterback. That's the league nowadays. I just I don't want to go into a rebuild, man. I'd rather run it back with Rodgers and say, you know, hey, okay, we can run it back with Rodgers, but I don't – you're, you're, not, you're not spending a spot on Big Dog and Cobb and all these guys Rodgers wants back. Well, he has to understand – I'm fine. Actually, I'm fine with Mercedes Lewis coming back, though. And then you draft Michael uh, Mayer out of Notre Dame, the tight end there. Because I think that Big Dog's just really important in that locker room. I know if you look at the pro football focus grade that he's actually taken like a step back. But he's a hell of a blocker. He's important. He's not that damn expensive. Randall Cobb, I think, is done. I think what that moment was, them walking off the field, I think Cobb's about done. I think he knows that he's finished. I'm I'm fine not bringing back Mason, even though I, I love Mason Crosby. My wife, that's her favorite player. She'll Ooh, be. Oh, I can't kick. And who else? Tunyon, unfortunately, dude, you run like you, you're in quicksand. Yeah, you, like we're going to get a real tight end now. Unless you want to come back for like the veteran minimum. Some of these How guys. This idea? Have, How about this idea? These guys got to fuck off. DeGuara's got to go. Is, what do you do? Does A.J. Dillon, do you bring back A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones? I love Aaron Jones. I Trey thought. Dillon. He's I thought. I thought that poor dude on Twitter that was taking a beating, but also like that was hilarious. Aaron Jones just calling out Cheesehead Nation. Whoever wrote that is that guy all right? By the way, he like oh, that's the same guy that had the coon tweet, Bruce Irons. He spent the next three days apologizing. It's like, dude, you had and a then he had the tweet about coon. It, I don't think that's now a coon's tweet. mad at him. If you're rebuilding, dude, if they're rebuilding, which let's be honest, if you're going to Jordan Love, you're probably and we're gonna make our bet here at the end of this you're probably not winning 12, 13 games. That defense didn't live up to the, if the defense was freaking good, if they could stop the run, then I'd say, yeah, Jordan love, this could be a 10 win football team, but Jordan love is inheriting the same shit that Aaron Rodgers had. This is not an Aaron Rodgers problem. And I feel like everybody, I think everybody's going to realize that when poor Jordan love gets thrown into the fire, then I hope this doesn't happen that they win six, seven games and everybody's going to shit on him the same way that they shit on Rodgers. Quarterbacks could only take you so far. And, and you know, right, when here's you my, here's ball, my proposal. Guys dropping balls. Christian Watson looks good, but then he's on the ground holding his hamstring every other play. Like, is he going to be all right? Is he going to make it through a full season? Or do we have another Sammy Watkins on our hands? Aaron Rodgers was throwing with a broken fucking thumb on his throwing hand. Which is why that's they should have set him a, down. That's a Brett Favre injury. And like he, like he says, he played behind Brett. You don't sit in Green Bay. I give him credit for that. I don't want some pussy as no, my quarterback. You don't sit because he's scared loves better than him. I want almost said something mean to you that I shouldn't say on a podcast. Here's Ask here's what I'm proposing. Last thing I have to say. All right, what, what are you proposing? I think the Packers should go with a two QB system. Yeah, like the Texans did down the stretch. Yeah, so keep Aaron Rodgers. Don't trade him because I don't want to see him play anywhere else. But this is his last year. I don't want to see Jordan Love get traded and have an all-pro career somewhere else either. Aaron Rodgers gets to play in dome games and against division rivals. And then Jordan Love gets to play all the games in the cold at Lambeau. Here, see, here's my thing, dude. Two like, quarterbacks for the price of five, Super Bowl. This is what sucks. This is what sucks about... Like I've always said, Aaron Rodgers. That's a, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I think I, I'm in. I'm in on that idea. I'm in. But that's insane. That's not going to happen. But in, in, in real life, here's what sucks, man, because um, I'll always love the Packers over any player. But Aaron Rodgers will be my last ever favorite player because I was a kid when I was rooting for this guy and he's still in the league. Kind of like I don't want like I know everybody likes to rip Brady and wants Brady just to, to go away. I, I don't know. I mean, I was ready for Big Ben to go away because, like, I hate Big Ben. But I don't. I didn't want to see Peyton Manning retire. He had to because he couldn't push the ball down the field. I don't really like seeing guys like Drew Brees retire. It makes me feel old as shit. And I kind of like rooting for the old guys. I like. I love Rodgers. Uh, he's going to be my last ever probably like favorite player. I like Joe Burrow and these guys, but they're kid like they're twelve years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm old now. I'm I'm the weird old guy watching sports worrying about what these guys are doing off the field and stuff because it's my job. But with Rodgers, you know, I, I, here's what sucks about being a fan of the Packers. I'll always root for the Packers over any player. But I don't want Rodgers to retire because I don't want his last moment throwing a fucking terrible interception into double coverage against the Detroit Lions at home to some no-name guy that will probably be out of the league bagging groceries in three years. That can't be for everything he gave. For the last 18 years, that can't be his last moment as a Packer. It could be his last moment as a Packer, but not as an NFL quarterback and his legacy. Because I still think he has it. 
I think if he's fully healthy, and you know what he's going to do. Here's why I don't want him gone. Because now, now comes the year from two years ago. Because we thought he was washed fucking three years ago when they went to the NFC Championship game. He still is pro football focuses, and I know nobody cares about this, top 10 quarterback. He's number 10 this year. So this was a down year with a broken thumb, and he's still top 10. He's going to go back into his zen. You know, he's, he's dating somebody normal, apparently, or normal-ish, not blue earth or whatever. He's probably going to, oh, hey, I discovered some shit on the tape that I went back to my MVP season in 2014. He's going to come back, torch the league. I don't want that to be for the fucking Jets and Robert Sala. I want. I don't be- want love <laughs> traded. I don't Brute want love traded. Wants to wait one more goddamn year. Well, yeah, if Rodgers steps away, but I don't. He ain't going to step away. He's got nowhere else to go. He's not retiring, and they're not. I think they're trading them. I think all this shit is they're listening to offers. Well, they should. Well, yeah, and that's going to piss him off. And so he's gone, you know, uh, and then he's a Jet. And then the Jets win 12 fucking games next year. Screw no, that. The Jets will start 9-3 and three and then not make the playoffs like they did with Favre. Are we betting? Uh, yeah, the, what's I, our I, bet? I want to bet Aaron Rodgers wins more games than the Packers. I don't even know his location yet, and I guarantee you he wins more games than Jordan Love next year. I'll or that bet. Really? Oh, yeah. What are we betting? If Rodgers gets traded, the Packers will win Packers. more games. What if what if Rodgers gets hurt or something? Hey, how many times do you think Clemens is going to tweet Rodgers' final press conference? Did he do it again? I thought I was like, I don't know, man, because I hate Musk's Twitter. Like, I see the same shit, and I'm always like, oh, no. And then I'm like, wait a minute. This is from... This is from five days ago. Some I had to mute somebody. I keep seeing like Bucks, Giannis, and Middleton like stuff, and somebody is like retweeting from the from the championship run. Oh yeah, I'll watch a Bucks game and go on Twitter, and there'll be people bitching about the game from two nights ago because Twitter's all fucked up now. Yeah, that's what I mean though. And so maybe 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 I haven't seen. I've just seen the Rogers video so many times. I just. It hurts me a little bit more every time. Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is officially gone. You've got your wish. I think I think you're gonna I think you're gonna be sad when it's week one and you turn on red zone channel and you see Aaron Rodgers running out there throwing just a fucking strike to Garrett Wilson. Or Denzel Mims. Yeah, and that'll what be one Jets, of the seven the wins the Jets have. Who's the Jets OC? They fired LaFleur. That's a, and they're interviewing Hackett. Remember Rogers' final. Remember Rogers final comments in their interview. In, in their interview in Hackett, it's going to be Buddy Hackett and Aaron Rodgers. That that'll be the only problem for Roger. That's why Rogers will want to go there too. Is because Hackett won't call the plays. Rogers will do whatever he wants at the line of scrimmage. I'll feel. You know who I'll feel bad for if he comes back next year healthy is Brees Hall. He won't see the football. Rogers is going to try to throw for seventy five touchdown passes. Yeah, Rogers if he goes to the. The Jets should have won double-digit games this year. They had a bunch of idiots at quarterback. The Zach Wilson band, he'll never play another game. He'll be a defender by next week. Uh, they, they should have started our guy Thunder Joe, but instead they went with uh, Mike White, who I thought is the he's the director of White Lotus, and then Strevler or whatever. Well, I actually love that guy, but he can't throw an NFL football. They were no, just like, he was oh. Tebow throwback night. That was Thursday I just, night. Throwback. I, yeah, exactly. Remember when Tim Tebow won a playoff game and everybody was like, oh, yeah, F you doubters, Tebow's the real deal. If you ever get bored. With then they Tebow, went to Foxborough and got murdered. Yeah, got killed. But if you ever get really bored, go back and look at Tebow's stats in those games. He was he was like going like two of nine in those games uh, for like 16 yards. Uh, Connor Orr, who he works for, of course, senior writer for Sports Illustrated, my favorite publication. Love the. Have you ever checked out the swimsuit edition? Yeah, I've got a few down here, yeah. Dear Jets, please go get Aaron Rodgers. And the headline says the Jets should embrace weirdness and go all in for Aaron Rodgers. They're going to do it, dude. The Jets are going to go all in for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, what are we betting? on uh, For Rodgers to have more wins than the Packers? 100. 100. 100. We'll do 100 bucks. Okay. I mean, I'm willing to go up to like 1,200, but I, I, don't, I don't have know. a job. I don't know. I would let you pay me in installments if you, however high you want to go with this. It's Aaron Rodgers, and I. This is not. 
I don't want people like I'm not rooting against Jordan Love though or anything. I hope I'm wrong on this because I hope Jordan Love steps in and wins a Super Bowl. I love Aaron Rodgers, but fuck him. I'm I'm a Packer fan. Uh but I'll be rooting for Rodgers. I, I rooted for Brett until he s- dicked us over and went to Minnesota. Then I was like, F this guy. Then I loved watching him get the crap kicked out of him. But with Aaron, or I mean with Brett, the first year with the Jets, I loved him. I mean, you know, I was rooting for him. He was bad. That was terrible. Well, we'll do picks uh, on Friday's show for the championship round. And, yeah, we have to, we have to and I don't know what's up with Mahomes. Well, yeah, because I got to see what's up with Mahomes. Rumble picks. Yeah, let's. I'm actually more. Let's do rumble picks because I'm more excited for that than the football games. I'm gonna be honest. We'll pick the game. I'm. I don't think I'm gonna bet these games, dude. I might play some player props. It's just like there's no advantage really. They're both pretty much picks. I think the Eagles probably beat the 49ers, but it wouldn't shock me if the 49ers won. And then, I mean, I think Mahomes is gonna win this game on one leg. I I think Mahomes is the best quarterback to ever play the game after years of calling Aaron Rodgers the goat. My official quarterback rankings, if I had to do it today, Tom Brady has a billion Super Bowl rings, but he can't do the shit that Patrick Mahomes does. I would go Mahomes number one, and I'm sick of seeing these headlines, and I'm the biggest Joe Burrow fan. If Mahomes doesn't beat Joe Burrow, how do you say Mahomes isn't better than Bur- – Mahomes is going to be playing this game on, on one leg. And again, like this is the thing with – now Mahomes is going to be the new Rodgers because now he's playing on one leg. Bengals beat him, right? And then it's, oh, Joe Burrow is so much better than Mahomes. Then Kelsey's getting older. They're not, their defense stinks like Rodgers' defense stinks every year. It's going to be, oh, Mahomes is a fucking choke artist. That's what I hate about the NFL. And also, guys get fucked up. Like, guys aren't fully healthy. Roger, how, many, how many playoff runs has Aaron Rodgers been 100%? Say what you want about the guy. He got the shit kicked out of him every single season behind bad offensive lines, except yeah, for the last. I, I blame the Packers as much as I blame Rodgers, sure. Yeah, and those are some historic, like, man, Brad Jones, Nick Perry. These, these are people yeah. that nobody, these are. if You give extensions to these guys, and then they never play again. Nick Perry was making $13 million a year. If I walked downstairs into Washington, D.C. right now, and I went to 50 different people and said, could you tell me what NFL football team Nick Perry played for? I guarantee you zero out of 50. The Packers outbid Costco for the rights to Nick Perry. That's what we should do. I should move home. We should make this our full-time full-time gig. We could sell it. To, when are Bob and Brian fucking off? We should take like that job. We'll just talk sports when we want. Because, I mean, you know, what, what, do we really, what do you really have to say Monday through Friday? Uh, are you worried about David Bakhtiari? Yeah, I'm worried about David Bakhtiari. Pay the guy... Fifty million dollars. He's got fluid in his knee. Tore his ACL two years ago. But we could do just we'll bring back man on the street interviews. I would honestly love to just like go to random towns and name random Packers that we paid more than ten million dollars a year to, and see if anybody would get these names. Well, I am looking for the rest of the year, the year, so that sounds like a good idea. All right. I also All right. I'll check up with you on Friday. Yeah, you're welcome. I didn't even sleep today. I got home last night. I had to drink like six cups of coffee because I did the show solo last night. I just stayed up and stared at the ceiling all night long. And then uh, now I'm going to try to take a nap. Hey, have you watched that 90s show on Netflix yet? I've only seen the clips where people come back. It's really cringe, but uh, you should check it out. All right. I'll see you later. Horbot. Peace, dude.